All right, guys, let's check out this Breitling. I I'm still blown away. Every time, like, um, a brand or an authorized dealer, in this case, it's Saltzman's out in Rhode Island. I work with Richard a lot. Um, every time I get the opportunity to see watches like this that are just, for me, and I think for many people that watch this channel, this isn't normal to, like, handle one of these unless you're in a boutique or an authorized dealer. Um, other than that, like to be able to like actually really check it out under your own comfort of your home and stuff like that is just, it still like resonates with me. It's, it's just awesome. So big thanks to Richard over at Saltzman's. He's been a massive supporter of the watch community and the YouTube community that is the watch community uh, by loaning out watches and working deals with people and just helping out uh, watch enthusiasts. So I have to say that. Big thanks to Richard at Saltzman's. I'll put a link in the description. Um, this watch was actually sent over to Bruce. And then I did. I found that he had it. And I was like, that's the exact colorway that I would pick up if I were going to pick up a new Navi. And so, of course, I texted Richard. And he's like, yeah, no problem. I'll have, I'll have it sent over to your place from Bruce's. And you can check it out. So, awesome. So, uh, it's a 41 millimeter. But everywhere I measure, it's more like 40 and a half. So, it's a pretty legit decent size for a navi usually they're really large this one wears i think more universal across the wrist size uh watch wearing public so i measure 40 and a half we're going to call it a 41 whatever because that's what they call it. it's a 46 and a half millimeter lug to lug but you can see sharp turned down lugs on this thing and they go lower than the case back which isn't always the case when you're dealing with chronographs that have the thick automatic movements this one does that and really it's not even that thick it may look like it, but I measure 13.8. The spec sheet on Breitling's website says 13.6, but you have this, uh, it's not really boxed, but it's a really nice angled and domed sapphire crystal that goes all the way to the edge. Absolutely stunning job on the sapphire crystal on this. And it's sapphire display case back as well. 22 millimeter lug width, that really helps, um, coupled with the fact that the alligator leather strap uh, tapers down to 18 millimeter so with having that wider portion up here balances out the heavier watch or the maybe taller watch but then tapering it down makes it super comfortable so everything's done intentionally with purpose they've been making the Navitimer forever they have the formula down pat this is just their current version and it is a home run in my opinion so it's using their automatic b01 movement it is a automatic, but you can wind it. It's a push-pull crown. The crown is seven millimeters, so there's plenty of traction there. Really stiff wind on this thing. Like you got to really try to grab it, pinch it, and uh, and then try to wind the movement because it's it's not very easy to spin. So, and that might be just because of the way the movement is designed, obviously, with the barrel, and it's a 70-hour power reserve, so you're winding quite a bit of spring in there. Uh, 47 joules in this movement. It's a beautiful movement. Unfortunately, there's a sticker on the back, and that was the agreement I made with Saltzman's a while ago, is I was not to remove any stickers, so I'm not going to pull, pull it off, but I will try to show you the best I can. Um, on the dial of this, this is the main thing that I liked about it, is the colorway. I don't know what we're going to call it, like a mint green kind of thing. Just an absolute, I mean, look at that. And then with the gold colored indices, hands, and then the pop of red on there, both on the outer ring and of course the chronograph hand it's just a stunning look also the logo so um, i like the winged logo that breitling does uh, more so than the regular b but this one here is actually the winged logo of aopa so they have a long going history with breitling so it's kind of cool to see that more heritage you know logo applied onto the navitimer so you also have the slide rule here, bi-directional spin, a really nice uh, friction fit on this. It's just the right amount of tension, but without being overly done, so you can still actually manipulate it. Because this traction on this, although there is traction here, it's not super, super grabby. So uh, it's kind of smoothed out, which is nice. It's going to help go underneath your uh, shirt cuff or um, just not snag on anything. So it's a really good balance. And then you went with the brushed case sides and then the polished top of the lugs and then just some polish reliefs around the bezel on the dial registers here of course you have your date down at the 
6 o'clock you have, well, let's start the chronograph, column wheel chronograph on this too, and I'll, I'll try to show that the best I can through that sticker. But you have your running seconds over there, you have your 12 hour here, and then you have your 30 minute counter there as that's running. So let's flip it over and see if we can see what kind of goodies we got going on there. If you look, this is hard to do with this clasp in the way, but if you look, again, the sticker's kind of in the way, but if you look right there, that's the column wheel. It kind of looks like it has prongs sticking up. So there's that. Of course, you have your escapement going on. You have the skeletonized rotor that spins around and winds the movement. You have some perlage work, Genève striping, the Breitling logo on, or the Breitling name on the rotor itself. Just a beautiful movement. So that's nice to have that as well. I just, I can't get over this green though. This is the perfect green for this watch. So resetting it, you just, excellent action, and it just snaps instantly back. It's hard to even see the uh, chronograph hand snap back. Retail price on this, $9,000. There's a little tag. Like I said, I'll put a link in the description. Let's pop this guy on the wrist, and there's actually a pretty decent amount of loom on this. The strap is awesome on this as well as the clasp. No real downsides to this watch other than... Um, the price, but that's, you know, these cost what they cost. So, yes, $9,000 is a lot of money. You might be able to get a discount. I don't know if Breitling's doing discounts or not. But just a killer watch, perfect size. I'm sure I could pull off the 43, but I, I just like this a little bit smaller size. This works better for me. Double pushers here, just boom, unlocks it. So, easy grab and go watch. Let's kill the lights and we can check the loom on this. I've rambled long enough. i got to get this watch box back up and get it over to Richard. There you go. So actually a really good application of loom for a chronograph. And you have double dots up there at the 12 o'clock. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you on the next video.